Greetings, Japan fans. We're looking at leading in the online world when you are the sales manager. Maishu, arigatouzaimasu, and welcome back to the Leadership Japan series. I'm your host in Tokyo, Dr. Greg Sawyer, your corporate coaching and training guy, the president of Dale Kennedy Train Japan, a best selling author, Japan Sales Mastery. We have the new book, Japan Business Mastery, available too, broadcasting around the world today from Minato Ku here in the very center of Tokyo, the leadership capital of Japan. Now, this podcast brings insights, examples, and experience about leading in Japan, and trust me, it is different here. If you have feedback on the show or preferences, About、uh, potential future topics, don't forget to let us know. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, share this podcast. Daily lineup looks like this on iTunes Mondays, Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, Tuesday, the Presentation Japan Series, Wednesday, the Sales Japan Series, Thursday, this one, the Leadership Japan Series, Friday, the Japan Business Mastery Show, and my new show on Saturday is Japan's Top Business Interviews. Before we get going, today's handy Japanese phrase is to t w e b a This is, give me an example. If something came up,、uh, someone made a reference to something and you wanted them to give you an example of that particular case, then you'd say, t u t w e b a t u t w e b a t u t w e b a t u t w e b a t u t w e b a If you're dealing with a client, I don't think you're going to be saying something so direct as t u t w e b a Give me an example. If it was a client, you'd probably use something a bit more formal, like, Hoku ni wa, o ne juna case ani masu, do desu ka, kono bai ni wa, jisen no kekka ari mashita ka? Or something like that, where you talk about, you know, in a, in a more polite, more broad sense of how you'd say things about, give me an example. Um, but to tweet about amongst friends, you know,、uh, colleagues who work, yeah, that'd be fine. Give me an example to tweet about. 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 This is episode number 366. And today we are talking about leadership for sales managers in the online world. COVID 19. Hit business in Japan like a brick thrown through a shop window. All of a sudden, everything was a mess, and there were glass shards dangerously sprinkled around everywhere. We were all tiptoeing around trying to find a safe way through this catastrophe. Companies were upended, and people were vanquished to their rabbit hutch homes to conduct business from there. Commerce ground to a halt as we went into lockdown. Toilet paper, rice, pasta, and Zoom licenses were selling well, but for most of us, things came to a crashing halt. In this scramble to adjust to the new situation, sales leaders were struggling to handle the new working conditions. Themselves now sharing a small space at home with the spouse and kids. Most Japanese bosses were not familiar with the new technology, so there was a period where a lot of energy had to be invested to learn how to connect using the new medium with the team. The first thing we all found was the communication was much harder. We discovered that coordination of things in the office was a breeze, a simple, efficient, painless process. Being remote from everyone suddenly made coordinating things much more complex and time inefficient. The scramble to reignite revenue streams also meant We started short circuiting our communication. When will that deal get paid? What's happening with their client? What are you doing about your sales funnel? It looks light and low. We became demanders and order giving bosses instead of leaders. Language is so much more important in the remote world. We have to embrace that, that timeless wisdom from sales guru Brian Tracy when he said, Remember, Everyone you meet in life is carrying a heavy load. The exodus to the home office, which for many meant the kitchen table, has been stressful. Our team are all carrying many varieties of heavy loads. They can't concentrate at home because the family are making a lot of noise. They have trouble contacting existing clients 
because they are also under stress and are at home too. They can't attend networking events anymore to find new clients. Cold calling hasn't gotten any easier in lockdown. Find out more, we come back from the break. Today's show is brought to you by our public courses, but we also do custom in-house programs. We do them online, we do them in the classroom. Yes, we are back in the classroom. We do them in Japanese and we do them in English. We've got all the bases covered. Today's show is sponsored by the following programs. On the 7th of July, we'll be doing Uncovering Leadership Blind Spots. That'll be an online program. On July 15 and 16, we're doing high impact presentations in the classroom. On July 17, we're doing Managing Stress. Again, that will be an online program. Our website has got all the details there, plus other resources. Go to enjapan.dalecunningy.com. You can also email me at greg.story at dalecunningy.com. If you like learning by watching videos, we've got over 960 there at Japan Dale Cunningy TV on YouTube. We're releasing three TV shows every week on YouTube. The Cutting Edge Japan Business Show, that's the premier business show in Japan, comes in every Monday, Tokyo time. Fridays, we have the Japan Business Master Show. And now on Saturdays, we release Japan's top business interviews, where I interview leaders from all the way from SMEs, small medium enterprise, all the way up to the corporate capitalism industry on the topic of leading in Japan. Don't forget, get my books, Japan Sales Mastery, that's the Bible I'm selling in Japan, and my other book on how to master business in Japan called Japan Business Mastery. Welcome back. Engaging our sales staff to keep going hard, despite the difficulties, has three elements and one huge trigger. The relationship with you, the boss, is number one. Are you speaking to them from an empathetic standpoint, or are you just shouting out urgent commands from the bridge, like a pirate captain under enemy fire? What about their belief in the way senior management are handling this economic disruption? They will have worries. Are we going to run out of cash and go under? Will people start getting fired? Will I be furloughed home for months with no pay? What has been the communication flow from on high and from you about the strategy for dealing with this crisis, the financial stability of the firm and the company's prospects for the future? Do they still feel pride in the company? Have the internal levels of sectional infighting, blame shifting, finger pointing and political maneuvering reached radioactive levels? As the boss, have you grouped the team together to fight against the external threat of COVID-19 and united everyone to crush your weakened competitors? The biggie in gaining team engagement is that people have a sense that you care about them and they are valued. This feeling valued component encourages their confidence and empowers them. This is where boss communication skills are so critical. When we contact our people, are we spending time, some time, to connect with them on a personal level, empathize with how they are feeling and telling them that we value them in this company? Or are we straight into interrogating them about their numbers? Before COVID-19, none of us were having a happy time recruiting sales staff, especially those with good English. The danger now is that through errors in leadership, we start seeing our good people leave and join our competitors. We need to keep the team together, united and ready to fight against the many disruptors of our businesses. We want the sales team to re-emerge from catastrophe stronger, more united and motivated to win. The buck stops with the sales leader. Thank you for joining the Leadership Japan series. If you found the program useful and tell your family, friends and colleagues, don't forget to rate, review, subscribe and share this podcast. Contact me at greg.story at dalecunny.com. Check out our website, enjapan.dalecunny.com. Until the next episode, take what you thought valuable, put it into action because either application is what makes winners winners. So be one of them. Remember, I'm your corporate coaching and training guy here in Japan, ready to help you grow your business. <music>